Vlad are from foreign, them no top call me name. Me hear them a chat bow country man fame. Me hear them a chat bow country man game. Vlad are style out, pan me jet plane. And Vlad are style out, pan me go train. No 10,000 Vlad are, we have in a de camp. All mad Vlad are, no we na ramp. Send me terror Vlad are, don't know about that. Country man, me a fi take a stand so. To catch the killer. They're on the trail of a man who committed a daring killing in a supermarket in the Westmoreland capital, Savannah Lamar, yesterday. If you're a parent, this video is not the kind of thing you want your children watching. So, a warning if you have little ones around, it's probably not a good idea for them to watch this. But we're showing you, so if you know who this man is, help the police find him by calling 119 or the nearest police station. But again, viewer discretion is advised. TVJ's Janella Pursuits has the tale of the tape. The police are searching for and are trying to identify the killer in this surveillance video. It's from D&S Haberdashery on Great George's Street, Savlamar, Westmoreland. When contacted, head of the Westmoreland Police, Superintendent Lansford Salmon, confirmed that the police are in possession of the video. It shows surveillance footage from two cameras. Left of your screen, dressed in an orange shirt and jeans pants, is 22-year-old Osil Hall. To the right, a man dressed in a plaid shirt, walking in one of the aisles. Take a good look at him. Focus your attention now to the screen on your left. Mr. Hall leaves the cashier area and moves towards the aisle. He re-emerges in the camera to the right. The first shot is fired. He then falls to the ground. The gunman gets closer and fires more shots. And then he exited the supermarket. The incident happened about 1 p.m. Wednesday. The police surmised that it was a contract killing. The man who was killed was recently charged for murder. He had been out on bail. The police have not yet revealed the name of the suspect. The vicious murder occurred as homicide figures for Jamaica continue to inch towards the 1,000 mark with four Four months remaining in the year. The latest figures show that 940 persons have been murdered across the island up to Monday of this week. This is 181 more, or a 23% increase over the corresponding period last year. The St. James Police Division had 186 homicides, 30 more when compared to the corresponding period in 2016. There were 88 murders recorded in Westmoreland where the supermarket killing took place, 44 in Hanover, 87 in Clarendon, and 80 in the St. Catherine North Division. The East Kingston Police Division, which is now grappling with gang violence, has recorded 31 killings, St. Andrews South 54, and Kingston Western Division 61. Janella Press TVJ News. After four people were murdered in Little London, Westmoreland this morning. The police have now confirmed that members of the Kings Valley gang are behind the attack and they have been quietly regrouping. Here is Kirk Wright with more. 23-year-old Siobhan Humes and his brothers, 29-year-old Howard and 33-year-old Paulton, were killed when gunmen invaded their home in Maysmore Meadows. 25-year-old Kenisha Wilson who was also at the house, was killed in the attack. A five-year-old child who was also there was not harmed. A police source told TVJ News that the gunmen were searching for a witness who is also a relative of the brothers. At a media briefing this afternoon, head of the Westmoreland Police, Superintendent Gary McKenzie, said members of the criminal gangs have been regrouping in quiet communities in the parish. Seven members of the Kings Valley Gang were charged last month by Seatok. Seatok has accused the gang of being involved in several murders, extortion, and robberies in Westmoreland. The gang is also linked to the lottery scam. Kirk Wright, TVJ News. The Westmoreland based Kings Valley Gang, which has been linked to several murders, extortion, and robberies in the parish. Nine members of the approximately 27 member gang were arrested during a major police operation on Wednesday. The counterterrorism and organized crime investigative branch, CTOC, made that revelation at a press conference today while indicating that disrupting the gang could put a major dent in crimes in Westmoreland. TVJ's Andrea Chisholm has the details in this primetime news report. Another major gang bust for the police, this time out west, dethroning nine members of the Kings Valley gang based in Westmoreland. This gang has been involved in significant murders, extortion, shooting, robberies, and luxury scam. 
The head of C-Talk, ACP Fitzbailey, says some of the gang members were picked up in an operation in Peggy Barry Grange Hill. Due to the terrain, some escaped. A total of 56 people were taken into custody and a number of items, including a Honda motor car, was seized. Uh, a number of cell phones and tablets were also seized. There was also a siege of a .38 Taurus revolver and two persons were arrested for that seizure. Those two persons, 27-year-old Clive James, otherwise called Tristan, a construction worker, and 22-year-old mechanic Dean Levy, otherwise called Nicholas. The police believe that the dent in the Kings Valley gang will reduce crime in Westmoreland. ACP Bailey says police investigators are getting better at their jobs and remain committed to the task. It doesn't matter who you are, whether you're a police, you're a pastor, you're a politician, or you're just an ordinary citizen. Once we have the evidence, we are going there. We intend, and we are actually stepping up our game. Then there was this appeal. My message to the gangsters and family members of the gangsters, maybe you need to have a real talk with them face to face and try to encourage them to desist from their criminality. And we will show you the path. Good day, my wonderful people. It's me again, the great, great, great countryman. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification button. Now, Uno watch a series of videos prior to hear my voice. And it's highlighting the King's Valley Gang. For some reason now, they're on my radar. <coughs> now fire two more shots. <coughs> now, this gang is a vicious, violent gang operating from out of West Milan. Now, it seems like their specialty is triple and quadruple murder and mass shooting because that's all I see is coming out of West Milan. No, I'm trying to figure out if is it hungry badness, is it broke badness, is it scammer badness, is it rich badness, or is it ego badness. I'm trying to figure it out. But one person I know that's not playing with them is this guy right here. Policeman, them call Fitz Bailey. You understand? This man is tracking them like a hawk. Now, a couple of them get caught this year, a couple years ago. But one reason why I did, did this piece is to kind of introduce them to the audience, the channel. And it's to get more information so I can deep dive into these guys, the Kings Valley Gang. Their specialty is quadruple and triple killings. You know, like Klansman, they cut off it. These guys are mass shoot, a mass killer. So, yeah, that's what we're dealing with right there. Now, I just wake up, I'm a little bit groggy and thing, so I'm not going to stay on this too much longer. This is pretty much to introduce the Kings Valley Gang to Jamaica First Channel. And this gives me a chance to deep dive and get some more information on these guys. Yo, my name is Countryman. Like, share, subscribe. And one more thing. Boss a shot.
Peace out.